hello friends today we will be going to learn how to add firebase to a flutter project okay so go to your firebase console dashboard okay click, click on add project give it a name okay so let's say flutter firebase continue Okay, uh, I'm not going to use any of these services, so I didn't enable it. It will take some time to create a project. Once the project is created, we'll proceed further. Now, this is done. So, project will open. Okay, first of all, we'll enable sign in method. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add a Firebase phone authentication. So let's enable this one. Okay, and save it. Once that is done, we'll go to the project overview. Okay, and we'll add iOS and Android app. Let's start with, first let's start with Android app. Okay, give it a package name, I'm giving it as. I'll see my package name with which I created a project. Okay, so the package name will be Firebase Tutorials. We hope this will work. Yeah. Flutter. Firebase. Whatever. You have to add your debug sign in console for the authentication. Okay. So I have my debug code ready with me. I'll add it. Okay. Firebase conf uh, debug, uh, debug config, we'll, we'll click on register app. Okay, after that, click on download Google services.json. Okay, and uh, you have to place that inside your project Android app inside here. Okay, so once that is placed, click on next, next, continue to console. So your Android project is added. Now let's add our iOS project, same. Okay, same thing, but to bundle ID must not contain these things. Okay, so we'll go with Flutter Firebase. Okay, Flutter Firebase, register app. Okay, download this file and keep it with yourself on anywhere because we have to deal with uh, through Xcode to add this file. Okay, so once that is done, yeah, we are done with two apps. Okay, next I'll go ahead and I'll add. Okay, I'll close this one. Okay, and I'll open iOS slash runner dot xa workspace. So once Xcode is open. You have to go here, okay. And this is your Xcode, whatever about the change the bundle name, what, what bundle name you gave there, okay. So you can grab your bundle name from here, Flutter Firebase. Where is the bundle name? This is. Okay, this is done. You have to go ahead with a sign in. Okay, select your team, whatever team you are on. Okay, once that is done, you have to place your downloaded file in here, inside runner. Okay, anywhere inside runner, you have to place this one. Okay, and must select copy if needed, create groups. Okay, and finish. So this is added. Close this one. Okay, once that is done, after that, you have. You have to add the Firebase dependency. Okay, so whatever we are using. Okay, let's add it. All the Firebase dependencies in here. Whatever is the latest version, update it to latest version. Firebase auth.
it's running full up get okay so once that is done now you have to run the project with flutter run so it will take some time to install pod for cloud fire store and firebase core firebase auth so i'll pause the video and come back here again once that is installed and the app is running guys the firebase has been installed and it's running okay meanwhile i have created other files like uh, i have created a phone auth for the phone authentic authentication process for that i'm showing a model bottom save okay i believe you know the functionality okay how this will work okay once that is done okay i have created a otp screen okay so yeah i will do here material page route build a context and okay and i'll import otp screen okay that is done so yeah everything is set up okay i'll explain how the code works and i'll walk you through how we can do that how we can proceed for the first of all for testing purpose let me create a fake account okay i'll go in authentication sign in method phone and i'll add a number for testing that's nine one nine eight five two nine okay and i'll add a verification code in here so this is done now i'll go back to the code so here we have to use the verification id and the sms code entered by the user to validate to validate and uh, log in the user so i'll start with i'll create a variable auth credentials credential auth credential is equal to let me make this function i think okay await phone auth provider dot get credentials say that verification id is equal to underscore verification id and sms code is equal to this okay and next we'll go with Firebase auth dot will Firebase auth dot sign in with credentials auth okay dot then dot then will have a Firebase Firebase user user async dot catch error so toast maybe I'm doing something wrong what is here auth result value we have auth result in here auth result save value and same thing if value dot user if value dot user is not equal to none you can navigate to that route okay actually I'll copy this done yeah no error somewhere error is there where is that yeah okay now i'll refresh it click on login for not i'll type the number okay click on continue why that happened So last time the connection was lost for the device. Okay, I found the problem. So you have to go to the iOS folder. Inside info.plist, you have to add this C bundle URL scheme. Okay, and then you have to run a flutter clean command. After that, you have to run the application again. So it will start working. You, you can get this Google secure content 
from Google services info dot p list. Okay, this line. You can copy this line to make the application work and replace it there. Okay, so let me show you what changes I have made. So verify code. I'm posting that to a new route. Okay, home route once the user is logged in. Okay, and on submit, I'm logging that user. Okay, so let's test it. Click on login. Click continue. So in simulator, the Firebase will try to see if you are not a robot. Okay, after that, enter your OTP. And yeah, you are logged in to the app. This is the mobile number through which you logged in and you have a sign out button. You can always sign out. So once that is done, okay, let's test with a ROM OTP. I'll share the code on GitHub repo. You can download and review the code. Okay. What happened? Uh, internet is so. This happens because you don't have that thing failed verification failed so you don't have a verification id at that point of time this verification id you don't have that's why so you must verify okay let it run i'll explain the other thing okay inside after j app dot dot i have changed few things so i'm checking if the current user is there or not i'm fetching the current user okay after that, I'm checking if user is not null, I'm redirecting to the home page. So if you are logged in, you'll be redirected to the home page. If you are not logged in, you'll be redirected to the auth screen. So it's running now. Okay, I think I have handled all the errors. I'm using Flutter tools to show the messages, whatever is happening. So you can see that. <coughs> I'm printing here is valid. And here you can see that is valid is false. Okay, and again, I tried that. So once that is done, uh, let's start it again and see if everything works good. We are good to go. Let's log in. This verification is required. Okay, so now you can see that is valid, true. Okay, after that, try giving some raw OTP and enter. Something went wrong. Okay, now let's change the OTP. You can change your message, error message to whatever you want. Okay, so everything is working. Good. Thank you guys. See you in the next tutorial. Next, we'll be adding Gmail login, email, lo email login and registration, Facebook login. And we'll, uh, after that, we'll see how we can add data to the Firestore. So if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you once again.